Hello everyone. I'm Manjula, Assistant Professor in the PGN Research Department of English, C Collection of Swami College, Trichy. In this video, we are going to have a glance at Alfred Lord Tennyson and his works. Tennyson is the representative poet of his age. He was to the Victorian England what three centuries earlier Spencer had been to the Elizabethan England. He is comparable to Wordsworth. He won Chancellor's Medal in the year 1829 for his poem on Timbuktu. He became Poet Laureate in the year 1850. And he was raised to the peerage as Lord Tennyson in the year 1884. Some of his works are Timbuktu, The Princess, In Memoriam, Maud a Monodrama, In a Garden and Other Poems, Isles of the King, Loxley Hall, Loxley Hall, Sixty Years After, The May Queen, and Dora. His historical plays are Queen Mary, Harold, and Beckett. His philosophical poems are The Ancient Sage, Vastness, Edward's Dream, and Crossing the Bar. Tennyson wrote on classical, romantic, and modern subjects, on humble and rustic life, on problems of philosophy and religion, and on English history and Celtic legend. This extraordinary diversity of his work is itself typical of the strongly marked eclecticism of his age. In Memoriam is a philosophic elegy inspired by the death of his friend Arthur Henry Haller. It was written in the year 1850, the year in which he became the poet laureate. The Princess advocates women's education. Here in this work, Tennyson grapples with the issue of according women the status they deserve. This Locksley Hall is full of the restless spirit of young England and of its faith in science, commerce and the progress of mankind. While its sequel Locksley Hall 60 years after shows the growing aversion against the materialistic attitude of Victorian England. Lord reflects the patriotic passions of the time of the Crimean War. In his Idols of the King, the medieval missionary is retained. Here, the old story is turned into a parable, the lessons of which are to show the contemporary life. These works show the content and quality of his works. In regard to social and political questions of the day, Tennyson starts and prevent a change. This itself shows the fact that he was influenced by the tendencies of his time. The sanguine temper of his early manhood, the doubts, misgivings and reactionary utterances of his middle age, and the chastened hopefulness of his last years are the reflections of successive moods which were characteristic of his generation. What all together from many special political principles, Tennyson's poetry is often the vehicle of the spreading democratic sympathies of his time. It is historically interesting on social and political sides and even more interesting as a record of intellectual and spiritual life of the time. It is filled with the two voices of the century. For example, in Memoriam, there is a conflict of doubt and faith. In many of his later poems, Particularly in the ancient sage, he challenges the current materialism, asserting the eternal goodness of God and immortality. The quality of his poetry of nature is remarkable. He studies nature as closely as Wordsworth. And like Wordsworth, he gives a faithful picture of even the minute details. Unlike Wordsworth, he has an eye of a scientist. And in one of the passages of In Memoriam, he shows us his keen sense of cosmic struggle, which is one of the most disturbing elements in his thoughts. To conclude, Tennyson is a lover of nature, order, he is a democrat, he is a feminist, and he is a good craftsman. Thank you.